Welcome back racers to Yes Dragon Trail Seaside once again and boy oh boy have we got another good couple of races here again. See Brunan in front of us then in the Lamborghini, he is going to be the main catalyst for this video. So obviously race C is best done when doing a no stop but uh, I'm just having a bit of fun on my Jev USA account and uh, just going for some overtakes. I wanted to make a video with a load of cool overtakes but once again I try to make one type of video but we have been gifted with this content there's crashes the saltiness there's a witch hunt and boy oh boy do I need to fight my corner on this one so up to third place then past old C Brunanen and on the back of Z crazy can I go around the outside no I've just outbraked myself a little bit and got onto the curbs on the outside which we all know are very very slippy but we're gonna stay in third gear as we come through the sweeping S's here now I've gone for I'm just gonna rev the crap out of the car because I wanted overtakes so burn as much fuel then I'll be back down the field after the pit stop and then hopefully we'll get some good overtakes uh, the idea for the video was to have say 10 different overtakes and then for you to vote on which one your favorite is but maybe that's a bit of content for another day so we're coming in here really closing up on braking I have got the brake bias set to one to the back so running a little bit wide there getting a bit eager on the accelerator that's gonna open up the gap between us and Z crazy here coming through the chicane of death then anything going to happen first time through nope the Honda in front though getting a little bit out of shape so that is going to allow us to close up as we come into the final corner of the track just going to move to the inside there later on the brakes probably going to slide a little bit wide are we no we're going to keep to the apex which is going to be good on the power and we've got the straight line speed to get past so in the slipstream of the Brazilian in front of us the Brazilian had a fantastic couple of races he just sort of sat at the front in the Citroen and it, I think he won like the next three races while all of this madness ensues behind him so fair play to him for keeping his nose clean and keeping his head down and winning races but there we go that's going to be us up into first place and uh, we're just going to pull away until we uh, eventually pit in on uh, lap five so jumping ahead to lap eight now uh, coming through the death chicane I'm just going to make a little bit of a mistake riding that curb a little bit too much and that's going to slow us down and let Zed crazy behind us overtake us so we came out of the pits in 12th position so we've gone up five positions obviously four now as crazy goes past us but we're going to go a little bit later on the apex and get that cut back get a nicer run out of the corner and uh, have that straight line speed going past him on the straight and now we're going to start to see the uh, the start of the madness the start of where all things go to absolute crap in a couple of corners as we chase down the american in front of us C Brunanen coming into the first corner then heavy on the brakes closing up the gap very nicely he must have gone for a one stop as well there's no way the uh, Lamborghini can last the whole race on a no stop but we are driving pretty well we've got the fastest lap of the race a 147.3 we can go a little bit faster but we haven't really linked up a perfect lap can we got in the power nice and early then yes we can climbing up the hill he must be short shifting and fuel saving because there's no way that the Lamborghini is that slow coming up there. Here we go. Here is the first incident of the video. After the race in the chat section, he said that he gave me the outside. Obviously not because I'm on the inside. So this, I think, is he wanted me to go on the outside. And because I didn't go on the outside, he felt like he had to come over and sort of give me a lesson maybe but who knows that's just my point of view if you've got another idea let me know in the comments section as i hold it and i don't go off the track so not giving him a penalty i could have just driven off and given him a penalty but i didn't but i get an orange sr down arrow uh, and then once again i get another orange sr down arrow sorry i couldn't really get out of the way of that one here we go coming into the tight right hand corner is going to be incident number two well there, he comes over and makes contact with me trying to squeeze me to the outside but that's fine but there we go shadow round um not really sure what he's uh thinking there you know what the worst thing about it is is that he didn't get a penalty for it nothing so coming in here i'm late on the brakes i'm already missing the apex and i'm going further on anyway but he's gonna put the uh, last nail in the coffin and just put me into the wall how he didn't get a penalty for that and how he can argue 
anything over the next couple of races is absolutely beyond me after that kind of behaviour. But there we go, uh, race incident number two. Let me know your thoughts on that one in the comments section. As we're passed by Williams VR going into the chicane section here. And uh, I must have overtaken this same player in the exact same place three or four times over this. He just couldn't get the angles right going into the uh, really tough part of the chicane and always had a bad run out of it. So there we go, just sweeping past. And now we have a lap to get past uh, Mr. Brunanen in, a, in front of us. So we've got the pace on him. I know we have the pace, but we just have to make sure that we can get past him in one piece. As we come around the last corner there, 1.4 seconds, 1.3, 1.2. So obviously he's still having to fuel save. And uh, we've got 1.3 laps remaining fuel. So we can just still attack the course as much as we can. Coming into the first corner then, heavy on the brakes, you see us how we close up down to second a little bit of a slide and now back on the power trying to keep that momentum through the second apex of the corner and now we are down to 0 0.6 0 0.5 of a second so it is looking pretty good for us pace is good closing the gap where we've just got to be smart about when we are going to choose to pass him which kind of doesn't happen but uh, you'll see in a couple of corners time as uh, down to 0.3 now are we going to go for the same move once again up the inside no we're just going to break just going to bail out and that probably does cost us a nice exit as you see he's just trying to uh, swindle his way up the S's there but we are in the slipstream so that he's going to give us a nice toe up the hill here coming into the uh, infamous corner where he tapped us off probably thinking I'm going to do the same but no nope, we're not like that on the brakes then can we get that cut back a nice exit, a much better exit than he does, and that's going to put us in a good position to pass as we come into the chicane. We've got the run around the outside. It's been done before. Going to make contact, and once again, let's have a look at this. If he continues on his route there, he's actually going to cut the corner and get himself a penalty. As once again, I don't think he has a leg to stand on, as he's literally cutting me off and putting me, or trying to put me into the ball. That doesn't happen, though. Yes, PD, thank you. I've got a two-second penalty. How, uh, how, how? Anyway, slowing it down. Now, I will defend him here as he goes over this curb. This curb does just throw you just a little bit to the left, just there. But the way he turns back in on me here is completely unacceptable, and there is no need for doing that. He goes into the wall, and I get a two-second penalty. Uh, I, I think that's pretty, pretty crappy from him. So that's three times in this race. He's uh, turned into me or hit me, so I'm not really sure what he's going to say after the race. I mean, I know what he's going to say, but it's obviously going to be absolute tosh. But there we go then, coming round the final corner. Fuel looks good as well, and we're just going to come home in 7th place. So uh, a pretty insane first lap, and we're going to jump to the comments afterwards here. Um, yeah, see Brunanen, are you, uh, are you mad? Are you mad, pal? Are you mad? And this is backed up by B Dub Club, saying that uh, C Bruneminum drives angry and the winky face. So there you go, Jeff USA. You drive like an ass. Why are you trying to pass going into death chicane? Well, it's been it's been done, and it can be done if both drivers uh, can give space, basically. Which I will show you how to do it later on in this video. It actually happens. Um, I say, dude. You hit me off twice, and he actually made contact three times. Then you bombed my inside when I gave you outside. I'm not really sure what he's talking about, maybe that first time. And there you go, enjoy being on YouTube, and uh, you've made it. You've made it, Mum. So, <laughs> the next race, he's in it again. I've said, see Brew Neminem, stay away from me. Jeff USA, drive with some patience, dude. There are people no-stopping. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't know. I haven't, I haven't raced this race this week. Um, so thank you, see Brew Neminem. Uh, I'll try and do that this time. LOL! So here we go. <laughs> so I'm going to get my excuse out of the way nice and early. I just bought the Jag 30 seconds before this race. I had about half a lap to warm up with it. But I had a momentary lapse of concentration coming into this next corner here. I hold my hands up and I apologise for this poor driving, but it was just me missing my breaking point. There was nothing malicious in it, I'm not trying to hit anyone. If anything, I'm trying to get out the way because I've realised I've made a mistake. He actually said in the comments after the race that I tried to punt him 
That's him in the Jaguar on the left, by the way. If I was trying to punt him, he would be in the sand. This is obviously the worst punting attempt ever if I, <laughs> if I did go for that punt. But as you can see, I try to go for this gap and just slide my way through. I don't care if I go into the wall at the other side. I'm just trying to miss the Porsche. Unfortunately, there is some contact there and I go into the wall, quite rightly so. But it's not gonna get any better for us as in probably 10 races, this was the only time that I murdered myself in the uh, chicane of death, but there we go. Probably uh, quite rightfully done. That's a bit of karma for uh, making a mistake. But there we go. Uh, and also, this happened, the world's biggest lunge from <laughs> probably like six tenths back. The reason why that was so easy to go past him is because he was coming out of the pit, so I was going much faster than him. So it was justified. But here we go. See Brimen Eminem. This is how you go through this section too wide. I know that it's going to spit me out just a little bit to the left, so I ride it and continually turn to the right. I then give him a car width and then some, as he could go over the rumble strips there, but he chooses not to. And then I just back off the throttle and let him go through. He gets a half a second penalty for cutting that corner. He didn't have to. He had the space. But that's how you go through the corner. So look, uh, math is tight. I was going to comment and tell him how cool his name was, but I'm glad I didn't, as you'll see in the comments section in a second. He just runs out of fuel as he goes over the line. But now, the witch hunt begins. Are you ready, chat? Are you ready? I was going to apologise to the guy that I hit into, the Porsche, but he uh, he left, so I couldn't. So I said, missed my braking first lap, lol. See, Bruno comes in with an absolute burn. Brake is on the left. Oh, man, what a burn. B-Dub Club, after complaining about someone else, dot, dot, dot. I'm like, oh, gosh, here we go. The, the saltiness has begun. The toys are out of the pram. But here we go. Here's a good couple of comments as well. As Brunemanum says, he was trying to ram me. Oh, my God. Uh, what a absolute childish comment. We on YouTube? Yes, you are, brother. Math is tight. Jeff, you say drove like an ass. I literally did nothing to him all race, and that is it. The witch hunt has been completed, and uh, that is how things spiral out of control. So, uh, yeah, there you go. The comments section is absolutely lit. I try and plead my case and say I was not trying to ram you, lol, but obviously the lol is sarcasm, but you can't really get that. I drive clean till you F me. Um, not really sure when I have F'd him at all. The whole time. He effed me three times in the last race. I, I've literally done nothing wrong to him. Let's not forget. And uh, yeah, I just finished with a... Wow. There we go. Uh, into the next race then. Uh, sitting in sixth. Oh, now uh, fifth. As uh, we're going to have some more freaking drama. Can you believe it? Yes. Yes, I can believe it. As we're coming in here, we have uh, old Leonardo. Leonardo 07 in front of us. As we come through here then... I'm not really sure what he's doing here. I'm on the inside, but look at the difference in positioning between him and the yellow AMG. He, there's no point in him coming narrower there to, uh, to get a better run out. He's going to get a better run out if he goes towards the outside so he can have more power. But it's just going to get awkward. And you know how freaking Gran Turismo physics are when uh, a tap like that happens. It's just going to send the person round in front of him. So obviously he's going to be pissed off at the end of the race, but I don't get a SR down, I don't get a penalty, and quite rightly so. Um, I think that was just an unfortunate racing incident. Obviously the contact sucks, but that's going to be that basically. Final corner of the first lap. They're not really sure what the yellow Mercedes is doing there, but he's going super slow, so I have to sort of maneuver myself and throw myself up the inside to avoid any contact because due to his uh, early break in there, but that's going to be us up into uh, third place and uh, once again we have C. Brew Neminem uh, in front of us here so chasing him down what can we do he's uh, behind the uh, the Brazilian guy once more who is just absolutely loving this race as uh, we're late on the brakes closing up the gap nice and easy once again keeping that momentum through the corner and as we come over this uh, over this section here they're just gonna go super super slow I'm really not sure why they're why they're going this slow um, but regardless, it's fine. Going to look up the inside a little bit later on the brakes. Can we make the move stick? No, no contact as well. This is how you give space, Brunemanum. Look, I'm not pushing you out to the side. I'm giving you space. Just just so you know, that's how you give space. <laughs> Gosh. 
How salty. Anyway, so into the fast sweeping corners then. He's just going to get his angles a little bit wrong. And that's going to prevent him from getting a good run up the thing. I'm going to have to lift off there. He's gone wide. And as he comes around the outside, we're just going to make contact now. Obviously, I'm going to say that he hit into me, but yes, I have turned in there, but there is enough space on the inside for his car. He's just come from off track, so his tyres are going to be dirty, so that means he's going to be sliding a little bit. Should I have given him more room? Possibly, but there's going to be contact and I'm going to go off to the side. If we look at the space there, even if I had continued around the outside, he wouldn't have left me any space once again so you know what do you think to that one in the comments I, I i think we could have been a little bit more considerate to each other but uh, there we go i think I, I i don't know what do you think obviously i'm gonna say he's in the wrong but trying to look at it from both sides a little bit of a comeback then but we finished in seventh whatever one place above our door number but here we go the comments section once again it's all gonna get freaking handbags dude as, uh, you know, Leonardo said, you only had your nose in. Uh, and I said, what's the replay, dude? You came across me on exit. And then he goes, Chev USA, spun me out. Oh, gosh. Uh, I just say lol. Obviously, as a sarcastic lol. And now for the biggest burn ever from C. Brunemenum. He says, uh, do you talk shit on your stream? You seem to be making enemies today. Now, I'd just like to point out that I've made one mistake possibly two mistakes and that guy has literally hit me off the track on purpose three times i should be super pissed off and angry at him for driving the way that he did but instead i'm defending myself against a group of villagers with pitchforks and torches for those of you who have watched me before you know i'm not that kind of driver not that kind of gamer so uh, i would love to hear what you think about the incidents throughout this video I think there's a lot of talking points in it. You know, it made a really, really interesting video. I'm not holding any grudges or any hate towards the other drivers. I'm just disappointed in the way that Sue Bremenham raced in that first race. That was out of order, and you can't do that, kid. So anyway, finishing off with a bit of uh, weirdness. It would be in the race that I don't record, but I got the replay of it. Uh, see, Brune Eminem is starting in the pits, and uh, for some reason, the car's not revving properly, and uh, Leonardo is uh, going to get a five second head start basically. Uh, Sue Broom Eminem, he uh, does end up being disconnected, but look at that, what, 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 what's going on PD? Freaking classic PD. Anyway, I come home to uh, win it, so just to show you that I can do a no stop. I can do it, mum. But that is going to be it. What an absolute mind boggling couple of races there. But a lot to talk about and uh, maybe some really good content in the end. So thank you for watching, liking and subscribing. If you do subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're notified of any content that is uploaded to the channel. Thank you to the Jet Pit crew for supporting the channel as you do. And we'll see you in the next one.